Good afternoon. This is a video for the English teaching media class and the topic for today is instructional strategies because there are different strategies in the classroom as presentation, demonstration, drill and practice, tutorial, discussion, cooperative learning, games and simulation. But today I just want to focus in two in discussion and cooperative learning. Um, discussion it involves exchange of ideas and opinions among the students and also the student with the teacher. Uh, some of the advantages are that it could be very, very interesting if the teacher know how to guide and lead the discussion and the conversation. Also, it can be very challenging because uh, no, all the time people will be agree and they will share their point of views, their beliefs, their thoughts. And it's very interesting to listen what the others are thinking and how they see the life. Uh, it is inclusive because everybody can share, just they need to be brave enough to share what they think and what is their opinion about the topic. And also one of the advantages is that it's a good opportunity for new ideas. Uh, because this is not about right or wrong, it's about to see how the other things. But some limitations are that it can be limited in the participation because if you have a huge number of students in one class, let's say 40, of course not everybody will speak, not everybody will share. That's why this is limited for uh, some students. Um, also, this is a, have a difficult of level and age appropriateness because let's say if in your class no everybody knows about the topic just the person or the few people that they know about the topic will discuss and it can become a little bit boring if not many people participate about cooperative learning this is when it gives the opportunity to exchange and learn from others in, bro in work projects or working as a team. For example, when a teacher give a task or a homework uh, in team, and they can exchange ideas, but also they can exchange gifts and talents. Uh, the advantages are that uh, it can be in formal or informal settings because you can work not just inside of the classroom, you can go to the house of one of the members of the team. Also, this is uh, an opportunity to learn about others and also uh, to know about uh, the talents others have. But the limitations is like the size. Like, of course, if this is uh, in the team, there are many members. Many times just one or two they work and the others they don't do anything. And also if no everybody want to share or want to work, at the end just one or two people will, will work in the team. Okay, this is some of the uh, strategies. And today we saw discussion and cooperative learning. And I hope you can apply this in your class. Thank you so much. God bless you.